guns truly go silent on the continent of Africa. It has not been easy, but their commitment, the forthrightness in which they have engaged each other, I believe is the beginning of a new and even brighter future for all the people of Ethiopia. It is sad that we have to witness what we have witnessed, but we're not here today to talk about the past, but to focus our attention on the future. And that is what these two gentlemen and their delegations have been doing. It is indeed my belief that the same spirit of collaboration that they have shown, the same spirit of love for their people that they have shown, the same spirit of understanding that peace does not come from one side but from all parties, is what shall continue to prevail. I am heartened by the fact that both parties recognize the need for the people of Ethiopia, wherever they come from, are in need of humanitarian assistance to them, are in need of food, are in need of medicine, are in need of a resumption of services. And the responsibility to facilitate that lies largely with two gentlemen who are with us here today, and I am sure that they shall fulfill that duty. Mine is to thank, I am heartened by the fact, have helped us as facilitators the need of our assumption services today, and the responsibility and to facilitate that, to do that largely can, to support the gentle people of Ethiopia who are with us here today. This and I have agreement sure and settlement that they reality. shall fulfill that duty. And for all of us to bind together to thank, to see who, how we can mobilize and this helped us as especially uh, achieve this to our today. international and, and for all of us to do that which we can to succeed, to support the people of Ethiopia, to make this agreement and, and settlement what is quite clear reality. Is that and for all of us to pull together we don't need to, to see what how we can mobilize on this, especially to our international and development partners for the process to succeed. They do need assistance. And what is quite clear is that we don't need to be told what to do, but need to be helped to do that which they, as the owners of Ethiopia, want to do. And that is my request to all of you, that whoever, in whichever capacity, join hands and support them. In what they need to do, it will be truly appreciated. And let me conclude by saying that what has materialized for me over the last few weeks is that truly we as the people of Africa have our own solutions. All we need to do is to engage, to respect and to honor one another, to love our motherland to love our continent and to realize that in whatever capacities we hold, our responsibility is to make this continent better for our children than we found it. There are no differences that are too large to be overcome. And I, we have seen that in the discussions that we have seen take place between these two gentlemen. And at the end of the day, as it said, you have the freedom to choose your friends. But God has given you your neighbor that you can't choose. 
you just must learn to live together. And learning to live together is learning to respect one another, is learning to talk to one another, is learning to understand the beauty that we have is our diversity. And for us to learn how we can live with each other within our diversity. Our diversity is our beauty. It should not be a source of division. It should be a source of pride as we share and enjoy diversity instead of our diversity becoming that which breaks us apart. We should celebrate it, should enjoy it, and we should build our continent together. So once again, on my own behalf, and indeed on behalf of all of us being involved in the facilitation team, I congratulate you, Marshal Jula. I congratulate you, General Tadese, and your teams for the spirit and commitment you have shown over the last few days. And our hope and prayer and our commitment also is that we shall walk with you the remainder of the way until we see a lasting peace and the true prosperity that the people of Ethiopia deserve. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. President, and thank you, uh, President Obasanjo, who you have authorized us to call general for the purposes of this occasion. I think your words of wisdom and your continued service to the continent is highly recognized and we really commend you for your commitment. Excellencies, at this point, I have the pleasure of inviting Field Marshal Berhard Juna, the chief of uh, the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, to deliver his statement. Marshal Jula, please. <coughs> Uh, Your Excellency, former President Olisogan Obasanjo, African Union Special Envoy for the whole Horn of Africa. Your Excellency, former President Uhuru Kenyatta, former pre President of the Republic of Kenya. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, based on the agreement reached in Pretoria, South Africa, for lasting peace through permanent cessation of hostility. We military commanders of both sides have been engaged in the detailed discussion on the full implementation of the agreement, emphasizing on the military aspect. We have been engaged in a good spirit and understanding Accordingly, we want to express our full commitment for bringing peace and stability to our people and country. Therefore, we will fully dedicate our service to implement the Pretoria Agreement and this declaration. To this end, we, will, we, we would like to affirm our full commitment to the people of Ethiopia, to this panel and world. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marshal Jula. At this point, it gives me pleasure to invite General Tadese Worede, the commander of the Tigray Armed Combatants. General Tadese, please. Thank you. His Excellency Chief. Kate, our service to implement the Pretoria Agreement. Thank you very much, Marshal Jula. At this point, it gives me pleasure to invite General Tadese Worede, the commander of the Tigray Armed Combatants. General Tadese, please. Thank you. His Excellency Chief Elsevi Obasanjo, AO High Level Panel Chair, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, former President of Kenya and member of the panel, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, 
I would like to add to thank all of you for your efforts to bring lasting peace to the people of Tigray and people of Ethiopia in general. We fought for the last two years to protect our people and defend our interests. We have suffered untold misery over the last two years and still continue to suffer. The commitment we are making today is with the hope that expectations that our people's suffering will come to an end and soon. This is a very daunting task. In the light of the many spoilers from within or outside who are profiting still continue to suffer. The commitment we are making today is with the hope that expectations that our people's suffering will come to an end and soon. This is a very daunting task. In the light of the many spoilers from within or outside who are profiting from their from this war, it's our expectation that the other party honors its agreement not only to end the conflict but also to facilitate humanitarian access and resumption of service. I thank you. Thank you uh, very much, General Tadesa. Um, Excellencies, with your permission, I request we give another round of applause to Marshal Jula and General Tadese for the commitments that they've demonstrated. Thank you. Thank you very much. This brings us now to the signing ceremony. So I will call uh, two officers from the department, well, one from uh, IGAD, to step forward with two identical copies of the declaration for the signing by Marshal Jula, General Tadese, and it will be witnessed by former President Obasanjo and former President Uhuru Kenyatta.